and welcome to my new video. Now, next method for solution of numerical differential equation, differential solution with numerical methods is first one we learn Picard's method, how to solve Picard's. Next is the Taylor series method. So, when the Picard's method fails, I explain there also for Picard's method, the given function, given function dy by dx, this fxy is easily integrable. If it's easily integrable, it go very fine with the Picard's method. If it's not easily integrable, we can be stuck in the integration, so it's very difficult. So, for at that case, we use the Taylor series method. For Taylor series, you already learn about the Taylor series expansion. So, we use Taylor series expansion for the function yx at x equal to 0 and obtain through the successive differentiation equation by itself. So, first we expand the function and then use the successive. So, let dy by dx is our function fxy, y initial value yx0 is given by y0. First step, expand with Taylor series. So, my function v dy by dx is yx expanded with Taylor series yx is yx0 at the initial point x0. y dash x0 by factorial 1 x minus x0. y double dash by factorial 2 x minus x0 whole square. This is the our Taylor series expansion. In that to get the approximate value of yx0 plus x we replace x by x0 plus x. So, each and every term where is the x, we replace x with x0 plus x. So, c and x by x0 plus x. This is y x0 is y0. I put y0, y dash 0, y double and x minus x0. So, x replace with x0 plus x minus x0. C. So here x0, x0 cancel at the place of this x we replace. Only h will be. So h in next term, h square, h cube. So my equation becomes like this. y0 plus s is y0, y dash 0 by 1 factorial 1, h. y double dash means second derivative by factorial 2, h square, h cube and so on. The derivatives y0 dash y0 double dash y0 triple dash can be always computed from the given differential equation putting x0 plus h is x1. So, if I put y x0 plus h, this is y x1. I say y1. X. Now, again same like Picard iteration x1 put here. So, y x1 plus h is y2, y x2. Y x2 plus h is y x3 and so on. So, this is the solution for given integral differential equation with the help of Taylor series expansion. Now, it is first order equation. If um, I have second order equation, for example, my equation is d2y by dx square and function is f x y dy by dx. My equation is containing second order variable. So, for second order d2y by dx f x y dy and initial condition is the same. So, or we can say y double dash is equal to f x y y dash. So, for this equation my Taylor series expansion is y x0 plus h is y order also Taylor series expansion is for y x0 plus h is given by the same. Now we can solve the Taylor series expansion the simultaneous equation if we have two equation one equation in x y z second equation also x y z if two set of three variables and two equation are there for example dy by dx is f x y z and second is dz by dx is this is f1 f2 x y z so i have two equation of set then 
for same method expand this and this separately for this my expansion is y x0 plus h is given by same y0 plus y0 dash upon factorial 1 h plus y0 double dash upon factorial 2 h square and so on and for this we expand at z so z of x0 plus h so z of x0 plus h is z0 plus z0 dash by factorial 1 h plus z0 double dash by factorial 2 h square and so on with these two we can find the values of y dash y double dash y triple dash z dash z double dash z triple dash from these given equation and substitute the value we will get the required solution so let's see with the example how we will use this Taylor series expansion and solve the problems. See the example using Taylor series method of the fourth order find y at x is equal to 1.1 and 1.2 by solving the equation given equation is dy by dx equal to x square plus y square and initial give y1 is equal to 2 at x0 is 1 y0 becomes 2 so step 1 our y dash is dy by dx is y dash x square plus y square now integrate one time with respect to x our d2y by dx y double dash is See, integrate, differentiate with respect to x is 2x, 2y, y dash. y dash is 2y dy by dx. Again, it is successive differentiation. Successive differentiation. You already learned about the successive differentiation with respect to x. If we have dy by dx, so d, d by dx of dy by dx is d2y by dx square it called y double dash so y double dash means d2y by dx square so when we differentiate this it becomes see 2x becomes 1 so 1 2 outside y y dash if it is so 1 times y y is as it is for y dash dy by dx 1 time differentiation it becomes y double dash now 2y 2 is outside y for y dash is as it is for y d by dx of y so dy by dx dy by dx is y dash so y dash into y dash becomes y dash square similarly for fourth order differentiate when we differentiate we will get this result next we have to find the values of for taylor series expansion y0 y0 dash so our x0 and y0 initial values x0 is 1 y0 is 2 that's given Substitute here for y0 dash x0 square y0 square. So 1 minus 1 plus y0 is 2 square is 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5. Substitute here becomes 22, 140 and 1220. When you calculate all the values because they give a fourth order so we calculate till fourth order now my taylor series expansion equation till fourth order is y x0 plus h equal to y0 y0 dash upon factorial on h y0 double dash upon factorial h square upon factorial 2 third fourth order here my x0 is 1 so i substitute 1 plus h is equal to this substitute all the values of y0 y dash 0 y double dash 0 i substitute here so y1 plus h is y0 is 2 plus y dash 0 y dash 0 is 5 5 by 1 h plus y double dash 0 is 22 by factorial 2 factorial 2 is 2 h square plus y triple dash is 140 by factorial 3 is 6 h cube plus 12 20 by factorial 4 factorial 4 is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 24 h 4 this is h 4 so till fourth order now 
see we have to find at x equal to 1.1 so what is my h we decide from here we want this equal to 1.1 so 1 plus if we add 0 0.1 it becomes 1.1 so h is 0 0.1 now substitute at every place h is 0 0.1 so 5 0 0.1 plus 22 by 2 is 11, 0 0.1 square plus 140 by 6, 0 0.1 cube plus 1220 by 24, 0 0.1 to the power 4. When you solve, you will get the value of y at x equal to 1.1. So 1.1, my value is 2.6384. Now, now I think you will better know how to find 1.2. For 1.2 my value of h is 0 0.2. Yes, if you substitute at every place s is equal to 0 0.2 why 1.2 is come that 3.7080. So my y 1.2 is this, 1.1 is this. So that's one example how to use the Taylor series expansion method. I will show you one another example on same Taylor series expansion. See the another example using the Taylor series method of the fifth order find y at x equal to 1.1 1 and 1.2 by solving the equation. Now there is second order equation y double dash plus y square y dash equal to x cube. It means d2y by dx square plus y square dy by dx equal to x cube. Given conditions, in this case there are two initial conditions are at y x0 and y dash x0. So y1 is equal to 1 means y x0 is y0 is 1 at x0 is 1 and y dash also given because y dash is in because it's second order condition so y dash x0 is also 1 initial condition as given. So first we have to derivate till fifth order because our Taylor series expansion till fifth order derivative we need the fifth order values. First our equation rearrange y double dash is equal to x cube minus y square y dash using successive differentiation. For these method you are very good in successive. If you are good in successive differentiation then also you can do. If you are not good it's difficult for you. So first you learn the successive differentiation for second to third order. d by dx of d2y by dx square is given by y triple dash d3y by dx square. 3x cube d by dx of x cube first order differentiation is 3x square minus we break this into two part first if we differentiate with respect to this this treating as a constant so y dash is as it is for y 2y and for y is y dash so for this term differentiation of d by dx of y square is given by 2y y dash so 2y y dash and 2y dash is 2y y dash square minus y square treating as constant d by dx of y dash is y double dash like that for fourth order same this gives